and it has been a slow crawl. Achievement for the day is done. Yeah. It, it was. was <laughs> snap. It just floored me. I recovered from our sale. Some good sailing ahead. You're definitely going to enjoy the Admiralty. It's lovely, lovely little place. Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. I'm Chiara and this is Adam. A few years ago, we walked away from our life on land to pursue travel and adventure aboard our floating home, the Millennial Falcon. Last year saw us improving ourselves and the boat whilst we tackled our first Atlantic circuit. Join us as we come full circle back to the Caribbean where we'll commence preparations for our next big challenge. Here's what you missed last week on Sailing Millennial Falcon. I mean, it kind of looked like an angel and it was wearing like a crown. <laughs> Freedom, you're off the boat. Can you go for a bit of a dive? Snorkel, sorry. We'll take the two. That's dinner for us both. It's a nice dinner for us both. As usual, our plans change. That looking? As predicted, beautiful but calm conditions. Well, we updated you last week that we were going for a sail and that, we'll and that we were heading to Curacao. You join us this week, still heading for a sail, but in a completely different direction. What happened the other day was that uh, we headed out, um, we checked the weather, we checked the wind, and we were kind of like, yeah, I reckon we can make this like four to five day window um, to head west like just bite the bullet. As soon as we got out in, uh, away from the lee of the islands, we realized that there was absolutely no wind. And honestly, when you're gonna set off on a four to five day passage, you don't wanna start motoring the very first day. So what we did was that we just pulled into the nearest bay, which just happened to be in St. Martin, um, and we checked the weather again. And since then, the weather's kind of gotten progressively worse. There has been some fronts coming in our direction and that means that the wind is just really there's no consistency to it we're not getting any of the usual kind of trade wind weather that we're used to and so what we're forced to do now is to get ourselves further south into some safe territory but by doing one to two day hops we just can't rely on the weather any more than one to two days in advance so we're working with what we've got and right now we're gonna head to um, Guadalupe it's about 120 miles. We kind of need to head to Windward first of all. We're actually proper like pinching. We are, there is no like beam reaching to this. We are going like straight to the wind and uh, we're just gonna make up as much windward ground as we can before we can then head south and make a lovely kind of beam reach then. Not bad weather, kind of still blue skies, which is really nice and some wind, which is lovely. Much better than when we tried to sail the other day. Uh, I think we've got like about 15 knots of wind, which is awesome. Is our we've just passed the 24 hour mark on this passage and it has been a slow crawl um, not really a complaint I kind of expected it to be that way like it's always a windward beat from St Martin to anywhere on the Leicester Antilles um, we had a f not as much north in the breeze as I would have liked but we just really like it was now or never kind of deal so we sort of pinched basically for the last 24 hours doing like four knots and we've just rounded Montserrat which is just over there and we sort of can now start to bear away a little bit and pick up the pace slightly. At this rate I think we'll, we'll make it to the top end of Guadalupe by sort of six o'clock I think, that's my bet, about 6 p.m. give or take and we'll probably tuck into De Shea, De Ye, De Hay, however you say it uh, and just grab a mooring there and snooze, check the weather, figure out what's going on and then plan our next step. Well, 
we've arrived in Guadeloupe. So we're just motoring down the coast to a bay called um, Pigeon Island. Um, we stopped in at the north end of the island at another bay and it was like howling. So we figured that because we're pretty tired, we just want to sleep and like chill out tonight and not have to stress about what our anchor's doing or what a mooring ball up there is doing. We figured that we'll go to a nice calm bay called Pigeon Island. Um, yeah, we're both pretty tired. Um, we've had like minimal sleep. It's always really annoying these um, these like one day passages. You haven't had a chance to get into the mood of doing overnighters and you just end up just being tired. There's no like shift times that are set up yet, so, or watch times. So anyway, um, we're both pretty tired. I'm just looking forward to putting a hook in really. Um, but we're here, we're 120 miles further south than we were, which is the main thing, is to get out of the way of hurricanes. So, achievement for the day is done. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey everybody, thank you for watching, hope you're enjoying the show. Just wanted to take a quick time out to make a very important announcement. I and a couple of my mates have been working on a new show over the last few weeks and we go live today. I'll put the link in the description and in the first comment so you can see what it's all about. If you enjoyed my interviews with the likes of John Kreshmer and Dick Beaumont and some of Kiara and my Q&A episodes where we talk about all things sailing, you're definitely going to enjoy the Admiralty. It's me and a couple of my mates talking about all things sailing as often as we can. We do boat reviews, we go on fictional boat hunts and actually a couple of real boat hunts, hunts for real people. Uh, it's a lot of fun, we've had a lot of fun doing it. I'd really appreciate if you go over and check it out. And before we get back to the episode, here's a little sneak peek of what you might be in for. With my vast knowledge of sail vessels. Like a freight train. So I promise, we're, we're not just having fun, this needs to happen. We have arrived! I am feeling a lot, lot chirpier this morning. Oh yeah? Than I was yesterday. <laughs> like, it was, so, so the passage. The passage. Yeah. It, it was... was... <laughs> <laughs> Snap, there you go. <laughs> it was only like a 24 hour passage. Uh, no, it wasn't 24 hours, it was just a little bit longer, about 120 miles. It just floored me. And I think maybe it floored you as well. Yeah, it wasn't a hard passage by any means. Like I would not say it was bad. I think we got we got nailed by maybe one squall, which was kind of like an amusing thing more than oh anything. Oh my god! You, it was like I within a second. You, I was like, "Oh, is that blob out there look sinister to you?" And you're like, "Ah, I think we have time." Three, two, one. <laughs> 30 knots. Suddenly it's like, oh, 20, 22, 23, 30, 33, ah, dump the sheets and everything's going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Fortunately we have a... And then five seconds later, rain. Just, it was over. Yeah. Like, like, at least, uh, to be honest, it was a good thing because this time we had a, um, when the mast was down, we had the opportunity to put in a, a big LED spotlight on the foredeck. Oh, yeah. So we could sort of like hit a switch here in the cockpit um, mm. and just daylight. It just lights up the world. Yep. So when you've got, you know, rain pouring in and sails <laughs> flapping, like doing that in pitch dark is quite <laughs> challenging because you've got like a little head torch. You're like, are we good? Are we reefed? Whereas now it's like daylight. Boom. What are we doing? Exactly. Everyone go to work. And, and we both, yep. um, you know, we handled it. It was fine, but it was yep. so it was just kind of an amusing, like, oh, what the hell was that? Like suddenly torrential rain, thirty three <laughs> knots. That was insane. And and we honestly, it was over before we even got a chance to tuck in the reef. We just dumped the sheets, yeah. began furling in the headsail, and it was like, oh, mm. it's over. So okay. pretty much the first twenty four hours was actually not too bad. Like we were, as mentioned, we were pinching. So we were basically doing three and a half, four and a half knots. Yeah, it was for slow going. Twenty four hours. But we are. Uh, our angle was like amazing. It was it was very very good angle. Even uh, we, predict wind 
thought we couldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. Like when you run a profile, like I often find the predict wind polars to be very optimistic, uh, yeah. and they don't at all account for like sea state and stuff. Well, they claim they do, they do now, but I digress. I find that you have to tune them way, way down, and the windward yeah. angles that they think you can do, and the downwind angles they think they're you can so do, are so ambitious. So ambitious. They're like, oh yeah, 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 you would just be ten <laughs> degrees off the wind. It's like, what? What boat can ever do that? Yeah, they'll be like, yeah, it's dead down wind. Just drive like one eighty, just right up. Yeah, just dead down wind. What? It's That's like, never gonna happen. We can, <laughs> We completely digressed. We pinched, yeah. we pinched really, really well. Like even yeah. Predict Wind had us like tacking up to Montserrat, whereas yeah. we managed to like claw our way off the lee shore there. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And round it to before we sort of had. So it more so, we in. both failed as opposed to yeah. the boat. We both failed on the start of the second day, and um, I have a feeling. For me, I think it was because Jackie. I had coffee withdrawals, and that was making me have a headache and feel. Also, my seasickness tablets were wearing off. So I think those com those things combined. Then Adam also started to feel ill, which is really unheard of. I don't get seasick, but mine was like a, I think a I actually got heat stroke or wind like wind um, plus probably caffeine burn or withdrawal. Caffeine withdrawal. I don't know what it was. Um, so, so it's just. So like, I'm really sorry, guys. Yeah. We didn't feel much. We, were, <laughs> we were just feeling like. It was, Whoa. A, bit, it was a bit. like yeah. I mean, most of it was through the night anyway. So we were. You know, yeah, we, exactly. We, the, all the fun stuff happened in the pitch dark. So yeah. unfortunately, there wasn't <laughs> yeah. much to say. And we um, arrived here. There is a beautiful diving spot over there, and I'm really, really keen to go for a snorkel. There's <laughs> a bit of a hurricane on the way. It's a bit of a yeah. hurricane. There's a hurricane on the way. Uh, though. So one we, we one week it. from now, it's forecasted directly where we were over Marigo. I am incredibly, incredibly grateful that we managed to find a window to even head this far south. But that also means that we need to head a little bit further south if there's something dodgy looking up north. Yeah. Um, so we need to we need to keep on trucking. Safety first. Swimming first actually. <laughs> Let's go for a snorkel. I'm just looking at the boat and I'm like we're one of those boats who are just turning into like incredible amounts of canvas everywhere. Soon I'm going to be sewing like canvas for my varnish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually in a really good mood today. Um, I think because I recovered from our sail and now I'm like, yay, we're in a new place really and it's sunny again. and I'm going swimming. It's really good. <laughs> GoPro started fogging up halfway there, which is really annoying. Um, and cleaning it with a with a bunch of leaves, surprisingly, <laughs> did not work. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to go back and go and have some breakfast, uh, and then think about what to do for the rest of the day. Um, at some stage, we are going to have a bit of a journey uh, further south towards a place called the Saints. Don't know whether it will be this afternoon or tomorrow morning though. So, some good sailing ahead. mentioned we are on the move. Uh, it, we, it was a, just a little bit of a rolly night and so it means 
perfect timing for us to go and head off. Um, I think our ultimate aim will be to go to the Saints, which is only about 20 miles or so. Because we've had a bit of a dodgy weather front going more north than us, it means that it's kind of sucked all of the energy out of the air. And so there is just no wind in summary. Also, the lee of this island, there is generally no wind too. So we'll definitely try and get a sail up once we come out of the lee of the island. But I'm not hopeful. <laughs> Uh, we'll just see how we go. Uh, either way, it's a, really, it's a lovely day, like it's sunny already, it's really nice. It's only like 7 o'clock in the morning. Hello, I can't shake the simplest feeling. We stand on the opposite shore Hello, no, no, no. I reach through mysterious seas My holy hope I look for We are here, time to pick up a mooring It's lovely, lovely little place So very, very calm Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know 